Hi everyone, uh, today um, I just want to quickly take you to what is currently going on in the country at this moment in time. Um, if you can recall that uh, the World Bank, um, the current World Bank, that's the World Banks, sometimes they uh, look at what is, um, they look at the country's um, economic profiles and also look at the effect of economic uh, GDPs on the life of the citizen of that country. And what they've done is that they've gone into Nigerians, they've reviewed whether the uh, Nigerians' property line has decreased or has increased. But according to the new report that they came out, which is in front of you, um, they said the property lines have risen to 104 million. So this is an extraordinary amount of uh, uh, numbers, uh, especially the state which Nigerians are currently in at this moment in time. Government need to look into this. Uh, this needs to come down because this number uh, currently happened uh, during the Buhari administrations. Uh, this figures was released uh, from uh, uh, 2001 uh, that says Nigerian property line was about 100 million during that time. But now it has risen to 104. That 4 million people have been put into the adjet property uh, according to these figures. Uh, this figures is is an extraordinary figures which the current administration Bola Ahmed Tinubu need to look into it and see how it can reduce the promises that it promised Nigerians. Um, that's why they also talk about the cost of governance need to come down so that they can use that money to diversify to the key areas that can boost the economy, the key areas that can boost uh, manufacturing. Uh, the key areas that can allow small-scale individuals uh, to have an atmosphere, an environment to be able to succeed. But the most key areas is security, which one of the things that current Nigerians need to uh, make sure that at least they look into as well. Because uh, a lot of people abroad that support wanted to come back to Nigerians to come and invest, uh, especially the diaspora. Um, a lot of them are not actually coming at this moment in time. It's just they are just looking at the, the apart from the economic figures, you know, the key thing is their, their securities, um, security of, in the country. Uh, because a lot of people were saying that uh, if every Nigerians are not secured where they are at this moment in time, how do they guarantee that they will be secured? They are leave their country to come and invest in Nigerians. So. But this is one of the shocking uh, figures that was released um, because the World Bank has indicated Nigerian property lines uh, taking a notch higher at the back crawl of the recent economics and, and fiscal reforms. But what we also know that the key reforms include the removal of fuel subsidies and the foreign exchange rate. The key reform uh, include the removal of fuel subsidy, as I indicated earlier, and the foreign exchange rate restructuring. And what we also know that the bank, however, has commended the federal government for what it has considered a bold reform necessary to rescue Nigerians from that physical cliff, uh, describing the current pains as temporary. Uh, we know that that pains happens during the uh, Buhari administration. But we also know that uh, policies that has been created by this government have increased intense pressures on the cost of living, which has pushed more Nigerians into hardship, with 104 million now living below the poverty line, which is an astounding figures. And this is one of the figures that President Bola Ahmed Tinubu need to look into. But what the World Bank reports also indicate that numbers of poor Nigerians in has grown from 95 million in 2021 to 100 million in 2022. And we also, also know the Nigerian Bureau of Statistics, the NBC, also indicated that these figures 
were 82 million in 2029 and 85 million in 2022. So currently, we know that these figures happen before the last administration handed over to the current administration. And what we also know that the World Bank and Nigeria, the development update, with time to move from reforms to, to result. That's what they want. Uh, we have reform, but we need result. We need implementations. The bank stresses the needs to continue with the reforms momentums in order to compete the reform and to address the cost of that reforms. And we also know inflations remain at the very high level for Nigerians, especially the current inflation is 27.3% from year to year. In October 2022, this is outstanding. I mean, the cost of inflation will definitely bite on the uh, income, uh, uh, disposable incomes of individuals in Nigerians if inflation is around 27%. So what do you expect the cost of production, the cost of uh, foreign exchange, uh, the cost of a, on average, even the least commodities that you can afford in Nigerians. And partly it's driven by one of the price that was in part import of removal of fuel and gasoline subsidies that President Bola had made to Numa announced. And we know the impact of this is especially harsh on poor and vulnerable citizens. And the foreign exchange has remained vol uh, volatile. And in period of continuing adjustment to the new policies approach, with significant inflation in exchange rate in both the official and the parallel market, we know revenue gains from foreign exchange are visible. However, we know there is a need for more clarity on oil revenues especially the financial gain of Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation Limited from the subsidy removal and the subsidy areas that are still being deducted and the impact of this on the federal revenues account. And what we also know that the World Bank uh, Director for Nigeria also stated that the petrol subsidies and the foreign exchange management reforms are critical steps in the right direction towards improving Nigerian economic outlook. Now it is time to, to truly turn the corner uh, by ensuring the coordinated fiscal and monetary policy actions in the short to medium terms. And when we also know that the continuous reform which we imp implement can also ensure Nigerians can benefit uh, for the difficult adjustment that is underway, that will also include, include oil revenues from the sharply include PSM price accrues to the federal government. And if you look at on the long the medium terms, the economics will then begins to benefit from increasing the fiscal space for development spending, including on powers, transportations, infrastructures, as well as human capitals. And we also know that between 300 billions to 400 millions were expensed at the few subsidies monthly before the subsidy removed. And that expectation was that the NMPCL will have been paying such amount to the federal account which has not been the case and what the world bank recommended that's uh, from the report uh, what we include are the full benefit of reforms already embarked by the government that include controlling inflations um, they want the current government and inflations to come down improving the stability of foreign exchange market achieving its fiscal consideration by sustaining savings from the pmc subsidy reforms and improving non oil revenues, addressing structural barriers to growth and shows as removed trade barriers. That's one of the uh, fundamental policies uh, the current administration is just trying to embark to remove any sort of barriers that will allow people to come and do business, whether you are in Nigerians or abroad. And with the continued implementation of microeconomics, stability reform, Nigerians' economy is expected to grow at average rate between 3.5% in 2023 to, to 26 and 0.5 percent uh, higher than in the scenarios when the reforms has not been implemented. And what we also know, uh, someone from the World Bank led economic from Nigerians, uh, co-authors of a report, also said that Nigerians have opportunity to turn the corner to a more uh, more stable and predictable microeconomics environment and easy access to foreign exchange and imported import, which is critical to creating jobs and leaving people out of poverty. And what we also know that um, Nigeria was not yet out of the wood, but in the path of full recovery as a result of the various policy being implemented by both physical and monetary policy. The World Bank will call Nigeria's national uh, petroleum company, PLC, to make public a statement of account and transparency disclosed to its revenues inflows. 
the report read in part, the removal of subsidy was announced on May 29 and the pump price was adjusted on June. The result also ex expected fiscal saving of around $2 trillion in 2023, which equivalent to 0.9% of the GDP. And what we also know that in 2023 and 2025, expected gains were over $11 trillion against a scenario in which subsidies have continued. So some people have also said that, look, the NNPC account need to be scrutinized. Uh, somebody need to look at how what, what's going on in the NNPC. And we want revenues to continue into the government cover from NNPC and all revenues agency. And, and there's almost a huge for, forex in domiciliary's account. What we also know that the foreign, Minister of Foreign uh, uh, Finance revealed that widely Nigerians were holding huge amounts of dollars and other foreign currency in their domiciliary account in the country. According to what we know, there are a lot of forex liquidities in Nigeria and federal government will step, take steps to make old offshore accounts release their money. And um, people have also put their, yeah. even the the industrial ministry uh, counter World Bank on power subsidies. And they also said that the banks had advocated a power regime with that subsidy in order to boost investment confidence and ensure cost-reflective tariff. So this is one of the reports that was sent to Nigerians from the World Bank for Nigerians to look into this and see how they can reduce the poverty line that is currently biting the country at this moment in time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you in the next news. Stay tuned, stay blessed and all the best. Love you guys. Bye for now. Take care. Bye. And don't forget to share my YouTube channel, subscribe to our channels and I will see for more news on what's going on in the country. Bye for now.